Hey there, everyone. Well, I don't remember ever recording a Sunday evening, you know, presentation or discussion, but I was just sent a chart showing what is going on in the Fresno real estate market. As you know, I thought last Friday, so nine days ago, could prove to be an inflection point in the real estate business. I was hopeful uh, that we would start to see listings spike. And as you will see in a minute, we have seen, certainly seen a change, although the change is not what I expected. So let me just bring it up and we can talk about it. So first and foremost, let me thank Benny Clay. Uh, Benny Clay was a guest of ours a couple of weeks ago on this channel. Uh, we talked about Fresno, I think we talked about 93702. We talked about 93728, the tower. And then I think we talked about 93711, I think. Again, just different zip codes in Fresno that are telling us different stories. And yes, I have invited Benny Clay back uh, to do another show this week with those same zip codes. But we were communicating today and he sent me this chart taking a look at the Fresno MLS. So let's orient ourselves to what we are looking at. The chart, essentially three colors. You have the light green, which is active listings. And this again is for houses. You have the dark green, which are solds. And then you have that little thin pencil line, which if you can see it, it's red. So essentially what it tells you is early in 2020, right? January, February, and March, we saw uh, sales go down, right? You see that a bunch in February. Uh, you see pendings uh, go down gradually. But really what you saw was listings go down. So now you fast forward to May, which is our last full month. And wow, what did we see there? First off, inventory in May is down 124 listings down 124 listings or 13%. That's a bunch. We see solds, they're down also. They're down, what is that, 61 listings or 61 transactions. And then you see pendings. Wow. Pendings went from 491 to 724. So at least as of May, listings are down. Sales are down, but we're seeing pendings come back. So we have been in the one of the greatest sellers markets I have ever seen because listings are so low, right? Look at this list. Listings are 70% of what they should be from last year. And yet we have a big spike in pendings. That means the buyers are out in force. I have never seen a spike like that. That is a 47% spike in pending transactions. If you look at the bottom of the chart, because I'm interested in June, right? What is happening in June? Well, if you compare June 1st through June 13th, compared to May 1st to May 13th, again, you have listings down. That's not supposed to happen. Listings are supposed to go up, but listings are down 20%. You have sales closing. They're up 21%. That means a lot of the pendings in May are closing in June. And yet you still have a ton of pendings. So what I take from this chart is last Friday is without question a turning point in the economy. Unfortunately, if you're a buyer of real estate, at least as of right now, the 14th of June, demand is up. That is amazing. Demand was already outpacing supply. But now the data shows us demand is up. It's, it's up and up and up. And listings are still down. Listings are down 20%. And I was hoping they'd be up. This market in Fresno is like something I've never seen. I've been investing in Fresno for 20 years, and this is the most unbalanced 
market. Couple of things. First, if you're like me and you were making lots of offers on first day listings below asking, don't even bother. Any listing that is somewhat clean is getting bid on and getting bid up. I had a friend list a property for 199. It was ultimately bid up to 215 and it was nothing special. So I, had, I didn't write in any offers last week. If you saw my goals from this morning, I didn't write any offers last week because it just doesn't make sense. Second, if you are a real estate agent in Fresno, you need to get on the phones. You need to get on the phones because we have a freaking supply problem. You need to tell your potential listings that now's the time, strike when it's hot, be the only listing on the market. If they wait, they could be listing into a rising inventory market. It's better to be first is the message I would deliver. And they could even be aggressive on price. This is amazing. Again, 215 on a 199 house, it's amazing. So again, I wanna thank Benny Clay for sending this over. Uh, it wasn't what I was expecting. It wasn't what I was hoping for. I was hoping for listings from June 1st to June 13th to be higher than May 1st to May 13th, and they're down 20%. On one front, that's discouraging because I wanna buy more. On another front, I own a few pieces of real estate, so it's okay. But again, for the folks that are trying to get in today, it's hard. And again, if you're following my model and you're trying to learn Fresno, just watch. This market is fever. This is worse than 2006. 2006 was nuts. And that's the time I sold all my houses. And I'm telling you, today is worse. Demand is off the charts. That pending line in May up 47 and a half percent. I have never seen anything like that month on month. This is pretty amazing. So again, I wanted to record this to you Sunday evening so I don't forget, I just got it. I was shocked, I was surprised. I wanna thank my good friend, Benny Clay for sending it over. Look forward to scheduling something this week. Have fun everybody, take care, bye.